Check, check. What is up? What is up? Facebook. No, I'm not on Facebook. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube right now. Um, welcome to a new RGT course. Uh, this is, I think, not just my first look, but like everybody's first look at a brand new track on RGT that I think is supposed to be Tour of Flanders based. It looks like it's 17k long. I assume it's a 17k loop. Um, so this is like the first ride, and it's we've got ride leader Johan Museu in here. Which, if you don't know Johan Museu, um, rode for Mapai, won Tour of Flanders several times, won Roubaix several times, won stages of the Tour de France, um, Belgian champion. So. Definitely uh, an, a cool ride leader for this for this first look. Um, we'll see if we can find him out here. I'm sure I'm sure we can find him. Uh, <laughs> I'll swap over here. Uh, in the chat here, Mike is um, saying that he's saving it for whooping everybody in the kiss race after this. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I. Uh, I raced right before this, and I did O oh, crit over on Zwift. So, people love the Zwift versus RGT talk and comparisons. Yeah, I'm excited about it, Ned. Are you you're riding? I think Ned Ned was in the other race I did, and now Ned is riding this ride. I think. Yeah, so far so good. Looks looks cool. Let me make sure I got the graphics on. Yeah, I've got the graphics on the highest highest possible setting. Um so this is just gonna be a casual ride. I'm gonna talk about RDT, talk about Zwift, talk about whatever. So hopefully this one isn't too crazy too crazy hard and uh I'll actually be able to do a significant amount of chatting. I was <laughs> struggling a little bit to keep up with the chat over on uh over on the O crit race earlier. So looks like you can see we got the profile right here. Looks like we got one big climb. I think that's the the Tyberg, the Kimmelberg. One of those. Um looks like this road is a little narrow. It'll be interesting to see if that has an effect on the dynamics on the shape of the group. Oh, I should have called it out earlier, but in honor of uh Museum um, rocking my map eye cap um i haven't had lunch yet because i just came from oak crit so i'm going to eat a banana during this one you might be right ned it might be the Quermont. that's what i'm here for <laughs> let's find out what this course is um should be cool though i'm interested to see it i really like the real road courses on rgt I think most of them race really well. I'm actually excited for the the new series that the Echelon guys are doing that's using a lot of the crit courses. I think they're using the Canary Wharf course. I've been wanting to do some high-level, well-attended races on Canary Wharf because that's always a fun one. Um, looks like we're about to get going here. I'll try and grab a spot somewhere near the front and uh see if i can hold it there we'll see i think i see teammate mike right here that's me over there a little farther that direction um got my let's see what should i put my slope on i'm gonna go 75. Yep. Okay, so we're starting kind of bottom of the hill. It looks like there may be two birds here. So to answer Ned, we may be hitting two famous uh, climbs. Wow, this narrow road feels very Belgian. Scenery looks really good. So obviously adding more real road courses is something everyone always wants. But uh 
Another thing that I think RGT is killing it. Maybe that's Dave. Maybe that's. Oh no, that's my teammate Mike right behind me. Uh, another place where I feel like RGT is just really killing Zwift. They they did exactly what Zwift should have done so long ago, which is allow allow a uh, speed and cadence sensor based riding, but not in races. So. Obviously, if you have a dumb trainer and you want to get on here and ride around, you want to even do your intervals. I used to do intervals on a dumb trainer. I would just do them by, based on rate of perceived exertion. I had a timer. I had a timer on my phone that would just go off and tell me, you know, full gas, easy timer would be if it was a free app. But that was uh that was fine for my training but you can't race on that because it's it's not a like a bad power meter or trainer is about five percent accuracy really really good accuracy on a speed and cadence sensor is within five percent so to, to allow that setup in races, and this is the thing that Zwift just refuses to do, is make it so that you can ride on a speed and cadence sensor, but you can't race on a speed and cadence sensor. Which, like, of course, that makes sense. So, I gotta give points to RGT there. They did that this week. They have allowed the speed and cadence sensor set up but not in races. They also, this course looks, looks really good to my eye. I know. So what do you guys think in the chat? Let me know. What do you think about how this looks? I know some people, oh, interesting. We got a segment. We got the segment timers up here. So all this segment timing stuff has been used recently for new race formats too, which is cool. They've been doing like enduro style racing where it's just segment times that matter. Oh, I should have started toward the back of this group, so I could have, uh, could have gone for the segment time. Seeing a lot of the hitters here, the regular RGT hitters. All right, should I rip the climb? I'm just gonna stay with whoever is fast. Of course, it's gonna be the Rossio racing guys at the front. I believe that's my teammate Dave up here. This will be interesting to race on. Pretty nice big climb. Nothing too crazy, but I wonder, I'll be interested to see what the time is at the top. Definitely longer than the Paderberg. And now we're on the cobbles. <laughs> Good Kindizzle, I'll just draft you all the way then. Oh man. I kind of love these punchy Belgian climbs. This is my style. So, I think we've dropped Museu.
Christian Nizzle, did you see my last race? Oh, crit a minute ago. Move up into this front group. Ah, uh, gotta get there. I was uh, 13th, but out of like 50 and that is a top quality field. So I'm not too mad about it. How'd that go, Ned? Did you uh, get him? Oh, yeah. Of course, it is it. Sneaky, sneaky little twelve percent there. Nice, Ned. And swift power is definitely what matters on uh, on that one. Nice. What are you doing it nine times for? Like, is there an event, or that's just your plan? Or did you set up your own event? Because it's RGT and you can do that. What do you guys think though, other than Ned? How do you like the course? So far, I think it looks really good. I really like it. It's a uh, I'm going to have to be real careful on this downhill coming up not to get gapped. Cuz in a group this small a, uh, a small gap can be like instant death. This is one thing, maybe I just get better frame rates on RGT, but I, uh, I feel like speed and descents look a little better on RGT. Something about the feeling of the scenery whizzing by me feels a little bit more realistic on here. 
Yeah, so Kendizzle, this is based on the real life uh Toro Flanders course on a an iconic section of it. Um so hopefully it's a uh, pretty true to life. Uh, this looks there's definitely some new like assets in the game. You know how they'll have like certain trees rendered you see over and over in certain buildings rendered. I'm definitely seeing some uh some totally brand new stuff, so it looks like they really did their research and made this one look very realistic. Get them, Dave. I'm gonna let let Dave go and I'm just gonna sit on these guys that chase him. We can't let Rossio Racing have the first one on here. See uh Mike Litster in the chat from uh he was in the same league as me over in ZRL. Um I feel like I had another RGT thing. Oh RGT has a much better um much better April Fool's prank that maybe I'll take a look at after this. Um Sven Yeah, the user base is lower. Some of that is real and some of that is artificial because so many people are riding their own um, magic roads at some at any given point, or their own private events. Oh, we got the Claremont and the Paderberg. All right. This is heavy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, we're doing two laps. Oh my god. I thought that was it. Oh well. Thought I was winning the group ride. Can Dizzle, they went behind me. I attacked. Um. But yes, Sven, uh, some of that feeling like there's less people is uh, just a function of how the game is set up. In Zwift, they're really trying to force everyone into those same, uh, into the same worlds. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Murphy. No desire to do 260k on the uh on the trainer. Murphy, it seems like you're back at it recently, huh? I think I saw you you were zwifting at the same time as me. This Coming straight from a race with the uh, the new dynamics on Zwift, 
this does feel so much more realistic right now. Like just how I'm able to really save a lot, staying, staying really well tucked in to the draft here. I still haven't figured out what the deal is with lateral motion and like what makes you slot in behind someone on the new Zwift dynamics. I think I've got it figured out on RGT. I think on RGT, basically your avatar has a field of vision in front of them that's sort of represented up there in the corner. And uh, they're looking for riders in that field of vision that are um, going a similar speed to them. And when they find one, it's like, I can see you, you're going a similar speed. Um, then your avatar will move behind them to try to draft. Makes sense. Um, Why can't you do more than 99 KMs on RGT? You can. Um, there's no limit to how many KMs you can do on a um, a real road course like this. It's just when you're setting up your own private road, private event with a private server, they limit that. Um, and they limit that, I think, so that people don't uh, just set up an event, just say like, oh, I wanna ride tomorrow. I'll set one up that runs all day tomorrow and just jump on whenever. Because those, as long as those things are live, that's a custom instance on the server which is taking up space, taking up bandwidth. Nice, Murphy. Glad to hear you're, uh, you're back. What race are you gonna try? But yeah, you can, I mean, people, you can definitely ride more than 99 KMs on RGT. Um, people have done full Everesting on our GT, so no worries there. It can be done for sure. Murphy, a late off season might have been the way to go anyway, with uh, the way outdoor riding is gone. Murphy, have you checked out RGT DB yet? It's a uh, RGT database. It's an easy place to find races, see who's registered, all that stuff. Yep, fingers crossed for, for cross this year. Get them, Dave. Yeah, go check it out. 
rgtbb.com. There's a ranking system on there too, which is cool. All right, so I know what I'm getting myself into now. This next uh, lap of the Claremont. Remember that sneaky 13% kick after the official Claremont section ends. That's the killer. I gotta say, all these corners feel well smoothed and everything. Right here. Oh, man. What's up, Tom? Welcome again. So, this course is very cool. I like it. I think it's going to make for interesting racing. And it looks good. You tell me, Tom, but I uh, I like what I'm seeing. Looks like they took their time with it, did a good job. Oh, so my old crit result, I haven't talked about that yet. Uh, 13th overall. Good for uh, eight ranking points because of how solid that field quality was. So, I'm going to be mad about that. Um, I think all this foliage looks really good. I don't know, the textures and stuff. The trees actually look a little bit better than Zwift, I would say. Zwift, especially the trees by that newest road, they look very cartoony and also flat. Like, the foliage doesn't have much dimension to it. So these are good. Some guy, yeah, this guy attacked us, huh? Per... Ferreia. Well, I'm going to sit in this group, go hard on the final climb again. Maybe I'll get to him, maybe I won't. But just need a good, hard effort. Hey, after this race, 
maybe I'll go check out the uh, the RGT April Fools thing. I don't want to give it away, but I think it's pretty pretty solid. Definitely on par with the Zwift tricycle, whatever. Still don't know how that guy in O'Crit managed to keep the trike for the race. Yeah, I agree, Thomas. I think I actually think France is the best looking world on Zwift. Um you know, Watopia is probably best for terrain and for a variety of terrain, but it's hard to beat France for how well it's rendered. Especially because Watopia doesn't have um doesn't have a, a very like consistent visual style the way the France map does. Watopia kind of jumps around from super cartoony to super realistic. So, scale of 1 to 10, how Fred is this right now? <laughs> Attacking Johan Museu on the group ride. Yeah, O'Crit was on NYC today. It was on LaGuardia Loop, and I liked it. The rollers and the punches, it was good. All right, here we go. Powderberg. I won the group ride. I think France pretty I think France is nicer looking. But New York races better. Good ride everybody. That was fun. Uh, let's check out the April Fool's thing. Woo. Uh, ooh, 1.04 IF. Pretty hard for a group ride. And that's with my, yeah, my FTP is set at 297. So, ouch. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go to Magic Roads. Sorry, I'm not sure where I go to look for the, uh, Let's go home. Nope, not Borrego. If anybody knows how to get there, let me know. Murphy, I like the uh, the versions of New York that only stay in the park and don't go up any of the fictional climbs. I feel like those are the the best versions of the um, Zwift NYC 
world. Uh, hey, if anybody knows, maybe I've got to be on premium. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Okay, this is good. Stick around for this. So it's under events. And then you go to the rainbow challenge. Just scroll down until you find it. And I think you can, uh, and it says most realistic ride ever. Yeah, you can just join it whenever. Here we go. But it's under events. I'm I'm very into this. So I didn't really get a chance to say what's up to Johan, but it's Rainbow Road. Um Oh man, Rising Empire is so brutal, Kendizzle. Yeah. Rainbow Road like uh Mario Kart style. And I wonder if this is uh I wonder if this is a reference to what I always say that RGT is like Forza and Zwift is like Mario Kart. So they were like, that's funny. Let's make a course that just straight up is Mario Kart. So I'm definitely gonna do my my cooldown on here. Honestly. Maybe I'll see if I can hit up Vickers, James Vickers from, uh, he was in that last ride, but he's like one of the main dudes over at, uh, RGT. Maybe I'll hit him up and see if we can do like a crit race on this course. I would love to do a bunch race on this course. I think it'd be funny. Looks like we got one other rider who found it. Maybe we should just, uh, get on the on the Facebook groups or whatever, get on the horn and uh, see if we can get a bunch of people. I would too, Thomas, I was saying that. It would be sick if they, really, I thought that's what this was gonna be when I first saw it. Just this skin they put on Magic Roads. And then I was thinking like, oh, it would be sweet to do like Tulsa Tough, but it's Magic, but it's uh, Rainbow Road. That's okay. The barriers are one of the things in Mario Kart that, like, you don't think about, but sneakily, the hardest courses are not necessarily the ones with the most turns and stuff. It's the ones with the least side barriers because you can fall off, like all the ghost courses. So, that's that. I think that's next level is somebody comes out with full free steering. And then uh, also a course where you can fall off the sides. This does feel a little CV arcade right now, but in the best possible way. I feel like this is, uh, if you want to have a popular stream, this is, uh, this is the way to go. Y'all notice that the head does the look back when you hit the look back button now? Yeah, totally. Maybe that's the next thing is uh, in e-racing, they make something that can tell when you pull your brakes and you can skid the rear wheel. That would, uh, that would make this stuff fun. This this course would race well. This would be fun to race on. It's got this little punchy climb that's like not super long, but not too short. And uh, the corners are pretty flowy, but it still has some corners. I think this would actually 
be pretty sick. I don't know what that two means. Floating two. Riding by that. <laughs> People's names on the road, not my name. It's funny that it still does that. I guess that's just like part of all the magic road skins and they didn't uh they didn't remove it for this. So it looks like looking at the the profile down there that uh there's another oh good eye. I should have spotted that. That's exactly 2k in looks like there's two pretty significant climbs but they're both kind of short and on a circuit like this it's like you could break it up on the climbs but maybe you get brought back on the descents if the group stays together but if the group splinters maybe not i'm gonna i'm gonna campaign for uh restart racing presents the rainbow road scratch race and we do like a i don't know 10 laps of this course or something crit circuit race style race that would be cool um it's big that they got johan museu i didn't really get a chance to say what's up to him i was uh hey there's my name I was chasing dudes off the front for some reason on the group ride, but I think the fact that RGT got someone like Johan Museu, like a legend of the sport, to lead that ride is a pretty big get. It seems like they're getting a lot of traction in Belgium, which makes sense to me because I bet the uh, as a cycling thing, the bang for your buck that you get putting money into a market like Belgium where it's a small market I would imagine that an advertising budget reaches more people for the same money or maybe even less money over there but a much higher percentage of those people care about cycling they've apparently had some RGT racing on uh on TV in Belgium. So that's a uh, probably a smart play by the RGT people. Hey, I seen Ned's up here too. This is the third time today Ned Bowen and I have ended up in the same in the same spot. He had a good ride at O'Crit. Also, I think, like me, he maybe hit the front a little too early in that sprint. But, yeah, it seems like for indoor cyclists that want racing and realism. Yeah, me too, Ned. RGT seems to be gaining a lot of ground among that that crowd and i know ruby ruby kind of had the realism thing for a long time honestly ruby kind of hurts my head but like the real video plus the 3d avatars has a weird look to me i don't i don't love it and i also know that racing wise i just don't think it's it's not built for that really whereas this kind of is i mean mo definitely more so i would say than uh than ruby is built for racing um but ruby ruby kind of caters more to the triathletes so i think they'll probably hang on to that market because they have the like real video of all the iron man courses I think that's one of their big, big hooks. They're trying to do this, like getting into the Belgian market thing. Tom, I've still got an open mind about Be Cool. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, I got two new platforms I'm gonna try. 
there's one that's basically like the UAE. It's probably some Saudi prince's answer to Zwift. Some some Saudi guy with oil money saw Zwift and wanted to get in on it, but it's called Whoosh. Um, I've been trying to get that set up, but apparently some of the Canyon esports guys have been racing on Whoosh. I'm gonna give it a try just to see. And then there's a uh, one lap, which is like the Chinese um, version of Zwift, Chinese knockoff sort of, but there's racing on there. The app looks pretty legit. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a shot. There's a few of those guys that are uh, respectable in various ways, but yeah, generally speaking, triathlon is goofy. And Lionel Sanders is a Zwift guy, despite being a triathlete. Whew. All right, so great April Fool's thing. Um, new course on RGT is awesome. Them allowing speed and cadence sensors, but not allowing them in races. Also, a huge thumbs up from me. Uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out again. Second time today. Uh, have some more YouTube content out soon. See you guys later.